Today, we're using Notion API and Integromat to create recurring tasks. Hello, I'm Vince and welcome to Creacity. So, how does it work? It's a bit of a hack, but it's the only way... So, how does it work? It's a bit of a hack, but... So, how does it work? It's a hack of sorts, but it's the only way currently available to make it work. So, how does it work in my solution? Well, I have a recurring DB database with task, the due date, when you have to do it, is it done, should it be repeated, the number of time, so how many days, how many weeks, how many months, how many years, so the time is days, month, years, the number is how many days, how many months, how many years, the first time you should do this recurring task and the occurrences, how many repetitions do we need to have. So that's for Notion. Then I go into Integromat, I create a new scenario, a new scenario that uses Notion, obviously. Continue. The module we will use is Watch Database Items by updated time, I create a new connection, recurring tasks, yeah, I give the permissions to Notion, to Integromat, then I can use the database, that's it, recurring DB, and OK, from now on. What should I do next? I should use another module, and this other module is a repeater. The repeater is useful because we have to repeat, we have to do recurring tasks. So what's the repeats number that we have to do, it's the occurrences. How many repetitions do we need? The initial value is 1, so if we have 4 occurrences, it should go from 1 to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. OK. Then we use a router. The router will use filters to, to do the right action that we need. So. For example, I should have a filter named days that says that the time, the name of the time, is days. If the time is days, what should happen? Well, Notion should create database item. What kind of database item? It should use recurring tasks. We select from the list the recurring DB and then, yeah, up, put my face on the other side. What is the task name? The task should be named after the first task, the original task, but we should put a dash and then the number, the number of the repetition. Then, for the rest, not much to do, but the start time of the do is something where you should use a function in Integromat that says add days. So that function asks for a start date, so we use the first start date. And what do we add? We add the number, the number of days in this instance. But that number of days, we need to multiply it by, by what? By the repetition number. Because if we have to go one and every three days, we have to do one for three, six, nine, twelve. 
if we go every seven days? Well, it's 7, 14, 21, 28, and so and so. So we need to multiply the number of days by the repetition number of this occurrence. Okay, so the name is there and the start time is the first date and we had how many days, the number of days multiplied by the repeater. So that's for the days. If it's month that we are afters, after, we use months. The condition is that time is months. And for the rest, it's the same thing. Maybe we could use a clone element. Yeah, that's it. And this one, we need to change the function. And the function now is no add days, but it's add months. Add months, because, yeah, now we add months. And the rest is the same. So, now that we are here, we can try a first repetition. So we have a task, make payments. Payments, I should do that on maybe yesterday it was the date I need to start this one. And I want to do this every 14 days. And the first time I have to do it is, that was yesterday. And how many occurrences? Well, it's the first time I, I'm trying to do this, pay my bills every two weeks. So, yeah, I try four times in the first place. So, now that I have that, in Integromat, if I run the flow once, It checks, it repeats, and then it creates my four elements. Here it says, yeah, I have four elements. The router uses its filter to give me, to say that, yeah, we're looking for days. And what does it create? It creates four operations, and those operations have an output of here in the properties values of due date is this one and the task has a name of payments one. What does it look in Notion? Well, I have, I have my four payments operations that are scheduled each and every 14 days. That's great. Let's delete all this. It works, nice, but every time I need to do it, I have to go into Integromat and run the flow once. It's a good option if you don't want to pay too much for Integromat, because yeah, if we schedule it, each time we run it, even if there is no data added, it will run the flow. So maybe it's a good idea to run it once every time, every time you need it, but you can also schedule it. So, I delete all this. And in, Tegram in, in Tegramat, I will add now a new condition. What is that condition? It's the filter that says done and repeat. What should it be? It should do. First, is it done? And we have here the keyword true. So, is done, checked. And is repeat also true? If done and repeat are both true, then we should repeat all of this. So, I can now 
schedule it every minute, activate and save it. If I create a new task and the new task is once again payments. The first time I need to do it is on the 31 of May, 31st of May. Is it done? Not yet. How many times? 12, 12 months, every one, uh, sorry, one month, one month at the time. The first time is the 21st of May. And how many occurrences? 12. So if now I run my flow once, just to get quicker, the flow won't really start because, yeah, done is not checked. But, 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 if I check done and repeat, now I just need to wait. Oh, check. It's already doing it. And it creates my recurring tasks for the payments. That's great. And it uses always the last day of the month. Very clever. So that's that's kind of a hack, but it works. I hope you find it interesting and useful. I hope you will build upon this. Once again, I'm Vince. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and ring the bell. Be nice in your comments because trolls are only fun if they dance, sing, or hug. I hope to see you next time. Thank you and bye-bye.